I'm here to talk to you about um, not exactly the, the opposite of what's going on in the other room, uh, but it's kind of funny that uh, the other talk is like, hey, let me explain the guts of Bitcoin, and this is based on a meme from, from Zoolander about not understanding computers, but I swear there's uh, interesting stuff in here too. Um, so the, 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 the basic premise of my, my talk is I would like to show that um, even though there are some tools in the space that make uh, it's really easy to set up nodes and infrastructure. There's a lot of uh, improvements that can be that can be made, and uh, I don't need to tell anyone in here that um, that UX is important and being able to spin up nodes is important. But everyone knows that, and everyone kind of agrees on that. But uh, the the the, the 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 amount of work that's necessary to to make incremental progress is is quite a lot for what seems like. Uh, not much. So what we've spent several months doing is doing a lot of that plumbing that lets uh, lets you do some cool things uh, that I think uh, haven't been haven't been done before, at least in uh, in this space. Um, so the, the the main kind of philosophy that we have is that we should we would try to make everything so aggressively user friendly to the point that you you don't even need like a terminal or or ability to run a command, um, and there's a there's weird contradiction in this space of um, of everything being kind of like Web 3.0 and uh, this is going to change everything and this is how how applications are going to be built now, but the nodes are themselves. Uh, themselves examples of these like large monolithic applications um, that actually are not quite a, they're not a great fit for any of this uh, new new ops infrastructure like Kubernetes or um, quote serverless. Um, I don't know how many people in here have used Kubernetes. Like show of hands. What is uh, Kubernetes is container orchestration framework originally uh, called Bork inside Google, and then they created a project. To, to have an open source version of that. And basically, it lets you say, um, here's my config file for my infrastructure, make it happen, and it just magically scales up and down. Um, but the funny thing about Kubernetes, even though that's supposed to be the future, is if you ask somebody how to run a database in Kubernetes, um, you will get the answer, don't. And, uh, or how do I run something that saves data in Kubernetes? Oh, don't do that. Um, so basically, Kubernetes hasn't really solved the the state state uh, management. It's great for running like massively scalable uh, web front ends and stuff like that. But if you're saving any data, and the blockchain is just a, a huge uh, blob of data, um, then you're going to have some trouble. So actually, the VPSs of the past that people uh, and hobbyists used to run everything on before. Uh, it became mandatory to know all about App Engine and Kubernetes to do a uh, personal website, uh, are great for, for blockchains because you have this persistent storage and uh, you kind of just want it to be there. And it's not uh, super important that it is elastic, maybe that it recovers, but it doesn't have to like run 20 nodes uh, at the same time for you to have a node. Uh, so an example of... Um, a project in this space that's really uh, well um, designed and a lot, there's a lot of tooling around it and I don't want to um, come across as, as negative about this project at all, uh, is BT, BTC Pay Server. And uh, BTC Pay Server's premise is to decentralize BitPay. Um, he basically, he got, he got angry at, at BitPay for being uh, centralized and said, I, I, can, I can destroy you and I will make an open source uh, competitor to you. And um, it, it, it has a one-click deploy deployment in the README, um, but that is uh, to click a button to go to Azure. And um, the minute you, you, you start digging into this, you get down this rabbit hole of like, oh, so I get to Azure. And by the way, to get to this screen, I had to sign up for a Microsoft account, which was like seven different steps. And then once I had signed up for an account, it didn't remember that I had clicked the button to deploy, and now I was just on the Microsoft portal where I had to start a trial and go through a wizard before I could make this button work anyway. Um, so there's that. Um, there's a Bitcoin shirt 
uh, that has made a large compilation of video tutorials on how to send, set up um, BTC Pay. I wonder if you can tell me if you notice anything off in this, in this screenshot. Any, anyone? No dislikes? Um, it's, it's good videos. It's good videos. That's, that's not the thing that's off. The thing that's off is, is this part. It's 19 minutes and 18 seconds, and it's, the title is One Click. <laughs> and the top comment is, uh, there. there were many clicks there. <laughs> and then the second comment is actually relevant, too. The, the second comment, uh, you know, somebody saying, I wish I could do this somewhere else. Um, so so the, the, this, these video tutorials cover all these different subjects, and there's a bunch of videos for each of them. And uh, we thought, why don't we take a stab at trying to kind of um, lessen the, the burden of some of these or remove them all together. And so uh, the, the, the parts where you have to get a server, set it up, uh, in, and install things and, and get things running, we tried to take a stab at that, uh, which leads me to my, my shilling point. This is a, a beta version of uh, product we're building. All right, if the text is too small, I, I'll have to explain what's going on. Um, I, I would have liked to say this is released now and open sourced uh, today, but uh, you're, what you're getting is a teaser of something that's coming uh, very soon. Um, so this is a setup wizard for BTC, BTC Pay Bundle, and we took our kind of approach of making everything as easy as possible to its extreme. So we basically don't give you any options. Uh, they are there, uh, and you can toggle them if you'd like. Uh, but really, the only thing you have to, to think about is whether you want a WordPress uh, install with an e-commerce uh, part that's connected to your BTC Pay server. You notice that Clover is, the, is a hosting option, but it is not uh, the only one. We, we will offer, uh, we thought we could offer hosting in a way where we actually provide value rather than just try to centralize and kind of quote rent seek. Um, and if you choose the Clover option, then we, there's several steps that we can do where we uh, have spun up instances beforehand and uh, it, it's a lot faster. Uh, but I want to show you uh, bring your own and uh, obviously that doesn't, um, that uh, doesn't involve hosting anything through us, and we don't, there's no payment or anything um, to do that. Let me get this over here. How am I on time, is it? Um, so this is my personal DigitalOcean account. I'm gonna go create an API key. MCC. Copy. And obviously, this creating an a API key in a cloud provider, that's a step that we feel like is even too much for some people, and that's why uh, that's, that's not a step if you choose Clover. Obviously, we, uh, we can know who you are. Uh, but there's some interesting things about how we do that. Uh, for example, that we don't have accounts. We just have ED25519 keys. Uh, but I paste in my, my DigitalOcean token. Click Next. Uh, there's a few options here that you can um, think about, and uh, the most important one is, is kind of uh, device syncing and recovery, which uh, is, is further documented in a separate uh, blog post, but the, the, the level of um, um, implementation that's gone into that is basically on, on par with like a password manager, because we have to do the same thing, and I'll, that'll be obvious uh, in a second why that is. Uh, we have a, a, something called a recovery kit, uh, which uh, contains secrets that are local to your box that can be used to recover access to your data. And again, I'll explain how that's significant uh, after I kick this off. So I said, I'm setting up a BTC Pay. It includes uh, an e-commerce store. Let's do it. Um, so does somebody want to take a guess at what's, what's happening right now? I, there's not a, Trick question: What would what would you expect to happen on a if you pasted an API token into a website and it, who who is doing that? Do you think it's uh, the Clover? Yeah, yeah. So I it is, I mean it's kind of a trick question. 
the, the, the thing that's significant here is that uh, everything you've seen so far is a WebAssembly and JavaScript payload that when you initially loaded the page, it downloaded the entire application. And this application runs completely locally. And, um, but what it's actually doing is it's reaching out to DigitalOcean from your browser in this uh, browser context without having installed uh, anything. It's taking the API token that you um, just submitted in the local UI and doing uh, the requests to, to DigitalOcean. And one thing I didn't explain uh, in the previous step was we have this uh, supercharge feature that uh, because we, we can basically do any DigitalOcean API request, we can spin up a larger instance or spin up a small instance, scale it up to a large one, allow you to sync your node, and then scale it back down. Um, we need a fancy name for that. Um, but that's something that's where if you paste your API token, it's much easier than if you had uh, brought your own instance, although you can do that too. Um, so if we, so if the instance is uh, fully spun up, let me show. All right, so that's the instance. Uh, what happens when we do the API request to DigitalOcean is uh, I also locally generated key pairs um, to prove my identity and to authenticate access uh, to this node via SSH, uh, basically. And the browser reaches out to the instance to uh, perform these requests. So the text is too small to show it, but the only request that went to uh, Clover in this case, or to the, the, the origin, is the one to allocate a subdomain of a domain. And that's just a temporary thing to enable you to have SSL right out of the gate. You can change this uh, host name after it's set up. Um, so the only, the, the only entity that has root access to this server is your browser. And uh, if you wanted to, you could disable that root access uh, for, uh, for, for this application and just kind of use it for setting up. So you can see there's some .NET, some Bitcoin D, some uh, MySQL. This is uh, mostly kind of a HTOP uh, equivalent. You don't have to, to use this if you don't care about it. Uh, if we go to the root of this domain, it's got the WordPress. Where did it go? So I've got WordPress and on top of this, cannot see it. Right. And uh, under the BTC pay path, we have the BTC pay server running and underneath that is a, a full Bitcoin node uh, in prune mode that it has started syncing. And so we enable this uh, Supercharged by default, the supercharge mode lasts for six hours. You can configure it, but we thought that that was uh, enough time to, to sync most of the way, if not fully, uh, on this kind of instance size. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the, basically the gist of uh, what our tool allows you to do. So any, any questions on so far? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so we, so we, uh, we actually considered the, um, or I, I implemented a snapshotting feature where we can sign releases and then we simply just transmit the pruned snapshot. If you trust us anyway to deploy the application, we thought why not just uh, do that. Uh, but then I saw that the BTC pay readme has a long like list of caveats saying, I'm not trying to destroy the Bitcoin ecosystem and like don't do this if you want to be safe. And like, uh, I, I don't know, I thought, um, Let's not have that right out of the gate, but yeah, I, I mean, it makes it makes a lot of sense to just do it that way because you can, if you trust us anyway, that the, there's not, as far as I can 
imagine any difference in kind of trust assumptions that you're making. Um, Yep. 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 Definitely. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you.